All right, what's up guys? Um, all right, in this video, I'm gonna show you pretty much the best place to buy booster boxes, how to find booster boxes on Amazon. I know when you search booster boxes, there's multiple listings and not only for a consumer, this video is gonna help the LGSs and the sellers in general. I used to sell on Amazon, I still sell on Amazon, but I used to sell a lot on Amazon. Now I'm transitioning towards TCGs and collectibles and uh, my own website, but I still have all the sales tools for Amazon and I'm gonna show you how to use them, what I look at, and it's really gonna help the consumer, average consumer, and the seller. So if you're either one of those, this video is gonna help you out either way. All right, let's get right into it. So. Let's look for a Vivid Voltage Booster Box. Vivid Voltage Booster Box, not case. I didn't even know they sell cases on Amazon. Okay, so we have two listings. Now you guys see all these numbers here that you probably won't see on your screen because these are one of the tools I use. It's called Helium 10. It uh, detects sales velocity. So <clears throat> with any collectible, Pretty much the sales velocity uh, is you're really not going to look at, especially when it comes to trading cards, because you don't have to worry about this thing selling because they sell themselves. Now, let's say you want to sell something that, you know, like for me, I was going from a wholesale business, so I had to check sales velocity because I didn't want to buy a product and invest a lot of money into it if it wasn't going to sell. So that's when the sales velocity comes into play. So this is ranked number 205 in toys, which means it sells all day nonstop. So that's a good thing to look at. And there's 17 sellers on this listing and only 10 sellers on this listing, which is why this one is a little bit higher, 189.95. Also, it comes into play that 189.95 is the best option for me right now. So Amazon, not only is it a retailer, they're also a really good logistics company and supply chain and stuff like that. So Pretty much, they're showing me the best option for me. You, in a different part of the country, you'll get a different option for you. They want to get the product in the hand of the customer the quickest. So let's go into this, 189.95. So, okay. This is being sold by Star TCG. So Amazon thinks that they are the best option for me right now. I know that Star TCG is in California and they're not the best option for me. So let me go into here. This is you can get a lowest price for $149.99 by these people right here. So again, you look at the reviews, 94% positive. Guys, when you're buying Booster Box off of Amazon, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not gonna be resealed, tampered with, weighed. You can't weigh new Booster Boxes. Get that out of your head. <laughs> so, okay. Now this, um. This graph right here, this is Helium 10. This is the sales velocity detection. So pretty much like this right here is just, it sells all day long nonstop. Let's go, this is the 30 day average. Let's go down to seven days. You'll be able to see a more accurate representation of sales velocity. So every time this drops, that's a sale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, goes up, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, probably around 20 or 30 times in the last seven days, which I guarantee it probably sold more because rank 205 in toys and games, it's going to be selling nonstop. Oh, actually, this wasn't the one that's ranked 205. This is ranked a little higher. Okay, so um, let's go into... This is also another uh, useful graph for sellers and actual buyers. More towards the sellers because it detects, um, like let's say if Amazon's on the listing, which th the reason why this listing exists is because Amazon is not on this listing. So when once Amazon's on a listing, they will crush the price. For this is for this is for the LGS. They will crush the price. Of course, you know that They'll, they're going to sell things for $100, $110, whatever, and you won't be able to make a profit. So certain other game stores or people, they make separate listings to attract other people and 
they sort of control the market in that listing. Now we're down here in the um, the uh, this is called the Keeper Graph. This is another sales tool that I used. So we go to the all 115 days. Now it started off with one offer. Now you can't see who actually started the listing, but um, it started off one offer and then immediately it started off at $114, which is pretty pretty good of a, as a price and then immediately jumped up. Now sales rank jumped up 104, 105. Now 149 it jumped up. So the person who originally made the listing probably sold out and the people that jumped on the listing afterwards jacked up their prices to sort of uh, compete with the other listing. So, because once that other listing went out of stock, people came to this listing. Um, then 139, as you can see the offer right here, down here, the offers sort of went down. That's why the price jumped up a little bit right there, a little blip, $10 blip. And then it goes down, the offer drops. Again, to two people now only have the product. So now the now it's up to $179. Drops down. Now, boom. A lot of people got the product. So now the price is steadily dropping, 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 dropping. Race to the bottom. Now, as you can see, the graph on top is sort of it's inverting against this one on the bottom. Now offers are dropping. Now the price is steadily climbing. Now, okay, let's go back to the other listing. Now this person has it for $194. This person probably is a store um, and they're an LGS and they don't really want to sell the product, but at $194, they're like, might as well. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, they're probably an LGS. So now with Amazon now, you can actually Google the um, addresses. So let's do that. And we will go to Google Maps and we will see if they're an actual store. They, let's see, what do we got here? They're probably a store, so this is a strip, this is a strip, uh, strip mall, so we'll go around. Now guys, you could do this for any, any uh, Amazon seller. Okay, so it probably is. It's, it's a, um, a strip mall, so this is a, a dentist office, but what's across the street? Yeah, so it's probably uh, an actual store. So we'll go back. Okay, so yeah, they, they're holding on to that box. They don't want to sell it. They don't want to, they'd rather sell it in their store, hold it for a customer or whatever. So they just put their product up there. So now let's go to the other listing. Now this other listing is controlled by Amazon. They're the ones that originally made the listing. That's why it's so cheap. It's not cheap, it's $149. It's an expensive booster box. So as you can see, this right here, this um, sort of, um, so the yellow color, that's when Amazon jumps in on a listing. They always sell it at $119. So they go in stock, people buy it up, they buy it up and then go out of stock and then the price goes up. Back in stock, see what I mean? So right here, Amazon, the price is up to $164. They are not in stock, they'll be in stock, it says on February 21st, so that's when they'll probably get their shipment in and then the price will drop down to $119. So if you haven't gotten your hands on Vivid Voltage yet, I would set an alarm for February 21st. <laughs> and once February 21st comes, you come and you buy it. Cause it's $115, $50 from these people. And let's see all the listings. So 164, 174. So it's pretty expensive, 150, $160. But this is the original listing. This was the original listing that Amazon made. Um, so as you can see, let's go to all time, one seller, boom, Amazon. See, this is the original listing first made by Amazon. They were selling at $119 and then it released. It's kind of a race to the bottom a little bit and then people realized, oh shit, this is selling like crazy, let me up the price. So that's when that price jumped up to $148 a box because Amazon went out of stock. Once Amazon goes out of stock, all the other sellers get the sales. So then boom, it sort of stays flat a little bit with the new offers. Price steadily climbs. 
price steadily climbs, $169 a box because the offers now went down to nine people were only selling this. Now at this time, the other listing probably got made. So they sort of take, took some sales from that and then Amazon came back in the stock, peaked at $170 a box, and then boom, back down to $119 a box because Amazon came in stock. Now you could see this is a great tool for sellers and buyers. So you could see, you could sort of detect when Amazon will come back in stock. You could see they came back in stock for a little bit and they sort of went out of stock for a little, a little tiny blip came back in the stock but now they are currently out of stock and they say they're out of stock till February 21st so right now pretty much your best option in getting a booster box on Amazon is $150 a box until February 21st <laughs> or you can support your local game store go down there so they don't have to sell on Amazon because you'd rather fatten the pockets of your local game store than fatten Jeff Bezos pockets. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope if you're a local game store and you need help with these tools, I'll leave my uh, contact information in the description of the video. I love helping out people. So if you need help with any of these tools, it doesn't just work for booster boxes. It works for any item guys. So if you're a game store and you want to sell something, you want to figure out if it's worth it to sell if the sales velocity is there, if there's profit there, hit me up. Because this right here is a revenue calculator as well. Now, at $149, let's say, okay, you get the booster box for $80. We're gonna say 90, we're gonna take shipping out as well. You're looking to make, if you fulfill it yourself as a merchant, $37.49. It's a good way to, to find out, let's say if you're a local game store, um, the profit margin on an item. This is the Helium 10 um, tool. So it automatically comes with that. And let's say you want to send a bunch of bucks into FBA, then it's a different story. $80, $41. You make a little bit more, but you also got to pay shipping to Amazon. You know that if you're a seller. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So I hope this video helped you out. If you're a consumer, if you're a local game store, if you're looking to sell these, if you're looking to buy them, so right now, your best option is $150 with Amazon being $164.99 right now. That'll be a pre-order from, once it comes in stock, it's, I guarantee you it will drop to $119. They have not changed their price since it released. $119.99, so wait till February 21st, set an alarm. Once February 21st comes and you want some Vivid Voltage, you get it right here for $120. Or you go down to your local game store and you support them. I recommend doing that. It's hard times now and they need it more than Jeff Bezos. So go down there, buy the booster boxes from them, support them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.